Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. It's just hard to do things with one hand. I wish I can get a fancy camera with a tripod, but right now I'm just using my iPhone to film this. Um, but what I did was I filled up this little spoon that you get from the brine shrimp company. Uh, I did it about halfway, and I dumped it in my jar. You'll see the eggs kind of float on top, some of them kind of sink to the bottom. Um, but what you're going to need, actually, for maximum hatch rate, I would say, is keep the temperature of your water around 78 degrees. You know, 75 to 78 will be fine. Uh, my house, typically, is anywhere between 72 and 75 all the time. Uh, I live in Arizona. You've probably heard me say that in some of my other videos. So it typically stays warm in here. I don't really even have to use heaters too much on my fish tanks. Just sometimes at night here it gets kind of cold, but um, for the purpose of these brine shrimp, this will probably stay around room temperature, and in about 24 hours, um, I should have thousands of them, and I will feed them to my fish. And um, what's going to happen here is I'm going to put the top on this jar, and I tell you, man, these, it's a really cheap way of making a brine shrimp hatchery. It's, basically have a jar of tomato sauce that I've used in the past. Drill the hole in the top, put the airline hose through, let that sit at the bottom, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this by the windowsill in my house because it gets a lot of sunlight. So I'm moving this around. She actually needs some light to get them going. And uh, my pump is all hooked up with the air hose. I gotta attach everything. Okay. So, okay, pump is plugged in. And it looks like the air hose fell out, so I'm going to attach it. And that's it. Now I'll just let this sit. Um, literally just overnight. And between the temperature in the house, the sunlight all day hitting on it, and um, the motion of the water, the brine shrimp should hatch, and my uh, saltwater fish will be pretty happy because they love eating these, like I said before. And uh, I guess thank you for watching. If anybody has any questions, you know, send me a message. Also, if you like some of my other videos and this one, subscribe. And uh, have a good day, guys.